sorry um, about the, the second video. Right, basically, I am trying to dismantle my turbo. Um, I've now got, I've taken out this bolt. I've now got to take that bolt out and that bolt there. Um, yeah, so for those that don't know, this video is about my 2013 Transit T350 rear wheel drive, 155 brake horse, 2.2 turbo diesel. My turbo's blown, so I'm now trying to take my turbo off. Never done it before, so uh, anyway, let's crack on. I'm using two extension bars just so I can get a handle clear. One mounting bracket for the um, for the uh, catalytic converter. Right. Okay, what's next? Right then. Oh wow! Let's try and get in there somehow. bracket for the um, catalytic converter with 10 mil back in a sec okay you need a 12 mil I think to get to the bottom mount of the turbo It's a 13 mil. Man, this is bad. Oh, why do I start these things? Right, if there's a tool maker out there, right, what you need to do is make the tips of these bloody sockets there, it's magnetic, okay, and when you make your millions, right, think about me, yeah, my name's Darren East, and I do Easty's Corner, contact me, message me in the comments, it'd be so much easier if these bloody things have magnetic tips on them, oh. there we go, Nut off. Ugh. Nut off. I was looking down there because the camera's up there. Right, let's have a look. What have we got now? Let's 
So that's up. Right, I reckon. I'll, I'll get these flipping things off now, so. Or we'll do 15 mil, and I'll use a spanner on them, I think. And probably a hammer, we'll see. Right then, what we're looking at is. That one there, and then one round here, and there's one underneath. So, I don't know about 15 mil we'll have a look. Okay, the um, oil feed pipe is a 10 mil. Taking that off now. I've got two of the knots off for the um, Okay, that doesn't want to come out, okay. Cool, right, okay. Um, I've taken two of the, um, the two nuts out for the oil drain pipe for the turbo. Oh, there we go. Um, and there's the gasket. No idea if it's good or bad. It looks like that actually. So we just need to clean it back in again. But I'll get all this with a rebuild kit that I've ordered. I hope. Um, oh. So basically, at the minute, I'm trying to get the last nut off the locator um, bolt for the catalytic converter. And it's on there tight. I mean, that's like really tight and I can only get a spanner on it I've soaked it in WD-40 maybe I need penetration oh, let's let me know, oh my god right it's definitely loose anyway uh, the catalytic converter anyway come on you twat and I just cannot get this thing loose. Um, oh, and then the last thing I want to do is snap the bolt off. The nut is moving. So, uh, I can feel it. Uh, right. Last thing you want me doing is puffing and puffing down the phone here yeah, and see my elbow or my shoulder. I'll come back to you in a minute. Right, I've soaked it a bit more in WD-40 now. I'll just let that do its thing. I'm going to try and get the um, this electric thing off of the turbo, electric plug, because it's obviously um, it's electric boosted or something, I don't know. Actuate, electric actuator on it or something. Um, so just trying to find out how to get this bloody plug off. Oh my god! If I can get the turbo loose, then I've got a bit more room to play. Uh, well, if I can get the turbo off, shall I say, I've got a bit more room to play. I don't think there's any more mounting bolts for it or anything, or is there? I don't know. Right, I'm going to have to disappear again underneath to have a look to see if there's any more um, any, anywhere else it might be mounted to the the engine bay. Give me a second, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I finally got that bloody nut off. Okay, that was a 15mm. Um, I had a ratchet spanner on it and then eventually ended up using a 15mm with a small breaker bar on there to get more leverage. Right then, now I'm just going to take out, there are two mounting nuts, um, engine side to the turbo, that mounts the turbo to the engine. I'll take off the top one, there's one on the top, one on the bottom, I'll show you in a minute, once, once I can get in there. There we go.
Okay. Okay, these are 13 mil nuts that hold on the turbo. There's two of them. One goes like that and one goes like that. Okay, let's have a look. If it's, yes. Shit, the turbo is free. Right then. Bloody, it's bloody heavy. Wiggle it loose a bit. Cut a little converter. Yeah. There we go. Right, now what's holding it now? I just hopefully hopefully it's just a case of getting this bloody electric clip off now which is for um, the electric um, Duba Mferkin whatever it's called where the fuck the hell is that going to? it's going all the way down there for some reason oh okay Right and so I've got to try and get this flipping thing on the clip now because it's got it hasn't got a um, what most turbo people are used to a uh, manual boost uh, actuator. It's actually got an electronic one. It's just trying to work out how to get the bloody thing off. Unplugged, should I say? Not off the shirts, just unplugged. Okay, I think. Come on. Where's my screwdriver? My screwdriver. This massive screwdriver is immense. It's helped me out with no end of bloody problems. Okay, uh, I don't know if this is going to be able to help me. Yeah. Might not be able to. Oh, for the first time. But then again, I think it actually is helping me. Oh, <laughs> I love that screwdriver. Absolutely love that screwdriver. And uh, uh, here it is. One Transit 350 T350 Turbo. Look at that. Right, so that is what I was on about there. That is an electric. Pardon me. Um, I believe that is an electric actuator um, and or boost controller. That the um, obviously the ECU will determine how when to turn it off, when to open it up, and that kind of stuff. Right. This is the reason why I wear two pairs of gloves. Absolutely smashed to pieces. And you know what? I am so happy with the fact that's come off. Um, that has just saved me no end of labour, cash, money. Anyway, in a second. Right. Okay. I've decided to take my way from it just for a little while. I met myself a celebratory brew, kind of a beer. It's too early in the day for that crap. So, it's brewski time. Right then. So, so far, um, sorry, I've uh, got something in my eye as well, I think. Yeah, there it is. Look. Lovely. Right then, 
So, so far, take the turbo off, you need these tools. A 7mm small uh, ratchet uh, socket um, for the um, Jubilee clips for the air intake for the turbo, take them away. Um, also, the intercooler pipe, you need a 7mm for, take that off. Um, you need a 10mm to take off the um, oil drain. You need a 10mm to take off the oil feed. You need a 15mm spanner. I had a ratchet spanner, thankfully, um, with a swivel head. Uh, they're quite useful, they are. Um, to take the three nuts off the, um, the mount for the... Uh, one of them. Catalytic converter, that's it, to the exhaust. And also, you need, um, I think it was, was it 13 mil for the uh, mount uh, nuts for the actual turbo to the uh, head, uh, the engine itself. Um, and also, then you just got to unclip the um, electronic or the electric actuator or boost valve, um, whatever you want to call it. Um, sorry, I'm going to put you down there for a second while I sort this brew out. Yeah, so all I've got to do now go get myself some, I'm going to take the turbo apart because I've, I've bought myself a rebuild kit um, with the internal uh, fins and some new seals. Uh, it came um, from a, a kit um, I bought from eBay for £65. Uh, the company that sells that eBay, I will put a picture of the company name or I'll tag the company name up here somewhere um, it's a Chinese company uh, or Hong Kong whatever that actually make turbos um, and they're on eBay and they sell loads and loads of different bits for turbos um, seal kits uh, you know that kind of thing um, the actual internals of a turbo uh, turbo I was gonna say turbine then um, so yeah it's a proper turbo company that I bought them from just because it's cheap and it's from eBay or Flea Bay as people call it doesn't mean it's crap always um, yeah I've got an update for the Saab as well if you watch because obviously I work on my Saab as well I've got a Saab 93 for those out there that know it um, it's, uh, I've had a problem with the wheel hubs um, again I bought this is my bad really I bought a um, a wheel replacement bearing hub kit for my Saab without checking out the company first. I should have done that. Um, and it turned out to be um, not very good and they've had to send me a replacement part. Two seconds. Right, and I'm gonna stop the video there. Um, I hope I've helped you um, dismantle a turbo from a T350, uh, 350, um, a T350 long wheel high roof, for transit 2.2 TDCI um, and um, yeah help diagnose a little bit of uh, turbo problems basically what I was getting the symptoms were um, whizzy noises like the dentist drill you know that kind of thing and then also uh, different like uh, different tones of that because um, you get it low and then it goes like that um, and you'd also get white smoke out your exhaust. Um, yeah, so basically um, that's the first edition of the turbo. The next video I'm going to do is going to be the rebuild re of the turbo. And then the video after that will be the refitting of the turbo. Uh, hopefully I can help. Um, it's just basically reverse of what I've done. Anyway. Ciao for now. Keep liking, keep subscribing. Um, sharing my videos whatever I'm hoping that there is somebody out there that isn't as well um, mechanically minded as me I'm no way shape or form um, qualified mechanic I'm not telling you to do your own things um, I, what my advice would be if you don't know what you're doing go to a qualified mechanic uh, go and get some help somewhere else um, and hopefully they can sort your problem out for you if not, and you've got the tools and the time and the inclination and the drive and the know-how, research, you know, like my, you know, watch videos like my video, um, and hopefully um, you'll do all right. Um, this is the first time I've ever done anything like this. 
um, and yeah so there's more to come um, and I hope you keep enjoying my videos like I said keep liking keep subscribing and thank you very much for watching bye bye for now